Hi! Today we'll be animating different types of love. So, because it's February, the month of love, many people might feel especially lonely or pressured to fulfill stupid societal expectations. But love isn't just romance or hot chocolates and flowers. Some of us still enjoy those things, but I just think that we'd all prefer to see Valentine's as a celebration of love in general, and not an opportunity to make everyone who's single feel excluded and everyone in a relationship feel pressured to do ridiculous things to please others. So in order to remind anyone watching that there isn't only one type of love and that you can still celebrate love however you like, I wanted to try and depict eight different types of love using animation. The Greek had many words to describe different types of love, so those are going to be my prompts, basically. Let's start! The first type of love I'll animate is philia, or deep friendship. I thought of different interactions to represent moments in friendship that make us feel connected, like fun moments or important moments. I thought of playing games, messing around or reassuring that one friend who's just going through a tough time. So for this one I decided to go more positive and depicted a couple of buddies playing and beating a video game. I made the background a simple bedroom. I tried making it look like nighttime by making it all blue. I also added a screen glow over the characters to show they're in front of a screen. I gave them some dark circles under the eyes because they've probably been at this game for hours. They're all in. They went through all these highs and lows together and now they're ready to claim their victory. I decided to animate these in Clip Studio Paint, which it turns out that the version I use is limited to 24 frames, so at 8 frames per second, that's 3 seconds. And because that's pretty much how long I wanted these to be anyway, I decided to use that restriction as a guideline for my animations. I haven't animated in a while, so I was pretty surprised when it came out easy at first. I'm pretty happy with the overall rhythm and movement on this one. Next is Ludus, Playful Love. I personally interpreted Ludus wrong at first, I thought it was just people being playful with each other, but then I remembered flirting is a thing. I unironically had to research ways to flirt for this. And after thinking of different ways to make these two characters fight with food for some reason, I thought of the Pocky game that I thought was cute and wanted to do something with that. And I'm pretty happy with it, even though the animation isn't amazing, but to be honest there aren't many of these that I'm really happy with. I like how I made this image all warm and cozy with the colors and lighting. Also, if you notice the quality of the final exports isn't great, it's because I'm stupid and couldn't figure out how to export the animations right from CSP. Let me know if you know a way to do it without it looking awful. <laughs> but yeah, fun concept, okay result. The last frame is my favorite. The girl on the right looks like she's in pure panic. The next type of love is Eros, sensual love. I tried being subtle with this one, it's just a couple hugging and kind of falling over to the side. For the background, I put a cityscape behind the window and kept the monochromatic theme for colors. Okay, it's not just shades of one color, there are different shades of pink, purple and blue, but they all kind of wash together because they're next to each other on the color wheel. I did this for most of the background so it doesn't make them too busy and keeps them harmonious. I did a lot of copy pasting which I'm not proud of, but hey, it made the colouring faster. Animating all of these was really fun, but when it came to colouring, I lost motivation so easily. So my bad, but also leave me alone, colouring the same thing over and over again is so boring. Maybe it would look smoother if I added a smear frame because of the quick movement, but I also don't know if it would look too violent. <laughs> I still wish I tried it though. So here's Eros. And so this is when I start having to look up how to pronounce these names. Um, the next type of love is agape, the love for everyone and anyone, unconditional. It is also seen as charity or wanting the best for others. There are so many ways to show this one, I felt genuinely overwhelmed by the possibilities. I need to keep it relatively simple, so I just went with a nurse because I think they represent what agape means pretty well. I wanted to make him interact with another character, so I thought it'd be funny if he had a sister who gets hurt a lot. But then making them siblings kind of goes against what I was trying to show because agape concerns everyone, not just family. So we can just say that their resemblance is coincidental. 
Also, don't ask me why the girl looks like me. It was an accident. I'm not being egotistical. I just forget what I look like sometimes and my brain doesn't compute. I also made sure to add some of that lovely and welcoming cold hospital lighting for you to enjoy. Uh, the next one is Pragma, long-standing love. And of course, the most obvious way to show Pragma is with an older couple. And I believe long-standing love not only means love that survived the passage of time, but also the love that was able to overcome obstacles and difficulties along the way. So for the background, for once it's properly monochrome, I blurred the further elements to give an impression of depth. And to be honest, I find this background too boring and I wish I made it more interesting. Maybe added some ducks swimming by or something. So I made the image pretty simple overall but I like how it came out, and the animation is very underwhelming, but I still think the couple turned out cute. Next is Philautia, the love of the self. Self-love is something many of us struggle with, and fair enough, it's hard to like a human, let alone come to terms with being one. But loving who you are is important, apparently, so just make sure to give yourself time alone for hobbies or whatnot. So for Philautia, I decided to depict one of my favorite hobbies, which I don't indulge in nearly as often as I wish, which is reading. I feel like it's a pretty common activity that many people love and find relatable. Um, for the background, it's simpler again. I like it better than the previous one though, because of the clouds in the sky. They're moving way too fast, but whatever. I also like how the style in which I draw the characters has zero consistency. They all look different. I think this animation came out adorable, it's one of my favorites. The next one is Storge, family love. For this one, I wanted to animate a family hug, made a quick background I hated, and then I decided that it was gonna be too annoying and one simpler, so I made it a cute bedtime story moment. An older sister reading her baby sibling a bedtime story and falling asleep with them. I made the background greens and blues, and I like how those colors look against reds and oranges. I find it very pretty, so the baby is wearing red and they are both ginger. The animation isn't great, but it's alright I guess. Throughout all of these I'm starting to realize how much more practice I need to animate better, and as upsetting as that might seem, I'm just excited to have an excuse to animate more. Anyway, here's Stargate. And the final type of love I'll animate is mania, obsessive love. I think the only way to depict this one in a sane-ish way was to depict someone obsessively in love with a fictional character. I don't feel very comfortable with the idea of drawing someone having an obsession for a real person because I want to depict all of these in a positive manner, so in this case I'll interpret obsession as more of a strong passion. Mania is the one that took me the longest, I think. I wanted to finish this video for Valentine's Day, but obviously animating took a while and Mania being the last one, I didn't want to rush it like I did some of the other ones. I made the background full of posters of a character I made up in literally two seconds, as you can tell, to show that the girl in this animation is a massive fan of him. I also gave her a plush of him, and the idea is that it's maybe an anime character and she's just come home after school or something, ready to watch some new episodes of that show. I like how soft the colors turned out, and for the animation, I was really happy with the sketched version, and I made an effort to not do any obnoxious copy-pasting in this one, to keep the movement pleasant to the eye. I did take way longer, but it was definitely worth the effort. That's it. So to conclude, I hope this video helped anyone feeling a bit low these days, at least a little bit. I felt especially strongly about this topic, so I really hope I got my point across. Anyway, I'll be at the store hunting for discounted Valentine's chocolate. Hope you enjoyed this video, give it a like if you did, and a sub if you want to support me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!